Oh man, I actually froze out trying to balance my Osmo Pocket in a hole in the asphalt trying to also balance my phone with a rock and I scratched my phone of my OnePlus 6. Welcome back, hi I'm Mauro and this is the right place for you if you want to start take great cinematics with your DJI Osmo Pocket and also some other gimbals. A big shout out to my Fiat Stilo reaching 200,000 kilometers. It's time for a sponsored car review that I will be able to keep it. Let's get back to the main reason of this video. Always wear seat belts. You never know when your 15 year old car might throw a faulty airbag on your face. Let's get serious now. Today we are talking about motion blur with ND filters, catwalk, ninja walk style and that damn scene like the color profile that I would like to get roll in the next DJI MIMO update. Let's talk about motion blur and how to achieve the best possible smooth footage with your DJI Osmo Pocket using ND filters. PGI Tech came in for this tutorial with the 4-pack ND polarized filters for the Osmo Pocket. They came in in a great magnetic design case with a great colorful build quality. They use German Scott optical glass and light CNC aviation aluminum ring that don't interfere with the gimbal startup procedure. PGI Tech makes a lower profile gimbal protection adapter to protect your 3-axis gimbal if your Osmo Pocket case is too big for you. They have also great skins to personalize your Osmo Pocket and if you want to check them out there will be a link in the description to do so. Let's take it finally to the motion blur effect. Motion blur is the amount of blur effect in between the frames that you are able to achieve in a motion picture. Let's make it simple. In this test on the left side I'm using the PGI Tech ND16PL to get a 4 stops down of light and to get a lower shutter speed. On the right side I'm not using ND filters and the shutter speed is really high. I am filming in 24 frames per second, so I am using 50 shutter. Remember, your shutter speed should be always as double as your frame rate, and you should match the light conditions with the ND filters. Let's get you a fast flyby of my silver Ferrari. What did you notice? Let's get past again in a lower speed. At the left side you can notice that you can get a flow motion effect where my silver Ferrari doesn't freeze in time, and you can't notice my beautiful face. On the right side of the image you can get my Ferrari like a still picture in every frame, without the motion blur. The footage will look stuttery and without that motion blur feel in your eyes, and you can have a true understanding of my beautiful face. This is why the use of ND filters is a must, lowering your shutter speed to the double of your frame rate to get that cinematic feel. A lot of you guys ask me about my catwalking and how do I achieve it also with my other gimbals. My pregnant wife always supports me and she went out again. Well, we were already out but it sounds like more work if we went out again. So we went out again faking the already out thing that we were involved. Catwalking or ninja walk is just a method to avoid the visible steps in your Z-axis, because the Osmo Pocket has a 3-axis gimbal that doesn't smooth the Z-axis. Amortizing your steps by learning the bend knee technique with your muscle stance but movable. Think of them as a suspension. Roll your foot gently from the heel to the ball of your foot. All you need to do is practice that walk around in different patterns and you will notice that your videos get smoother and smoother every time. When you feel confident, try to climb stairs, run over obstacles and try even running. I actually teach my wife for a perfect ninja walk in a couple of days, even with the Zion Tech Weeby Lab. Well, go out and start learning the catwalk ninja walk without hesitation. how you will achieve the best stabilization in your Osmo Pocket. And we are going straight to that color correction possibility on the DJI Osmo Pocket Cine like D. Ok, so I am doing this just because my Osmo Pocket has this feature available on my DJI MIMO app. I am not sure anymore if it will be available and when it will be available on the DJI future updates 
of the DJI MIMO app. So take this part of the video of what can you achieve with the DJI Osmo Pocket if they add the Cine Like D feature on one of the DJI MIMO updates in the future. When imported in one of your editing programs like Premiere Pro, we can already notice a flatter color picture profile. It will allow you to make more tweaks on the desired final image than the standard color profile of the DJI Osmo Pocket. You can do some great tweaks on the basic color correction tab, like lowering a little the highlights and rising the shadows, to get a more even balanced picture. You should always look to the scopes, add some contrast and saturation to get the image more vibe, add an S-curve to the S-curve drop-down menu to get even more that cinematic feel. Lastly, play with the color wheels to add some blue in the shadows, a yellow-green tone in the middles and a little tweaks on the highlights. Actually, there is a lot of scene like D loots out there that could match really great the scene like D color profile of your Osmo Pocket. If DJI rolls out this feature, well, come back to this video and get a taste on how to get a grade with the Osmo Pocket in Cine Like D. Thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon to get notified every time I make a new video, and see you on my next one.